Greetings everyone and welcome to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen, a game I wasn't expecting to be able to showcase on the channel for about a week at the very least when the game is made publicly available. However, thanks to 2K, I have been uh, furnished with an early access copy of the game, so we're going to get a chance to take a peek at what the War of the Chosen DLC adds to XCOM 2. Now, before we begin, I do have a pool of characters, thanks to the dapplings on the uh, dapper discord server uh, we have uh, most of them have been customized in their appearance in some way based on the preference of the person and of course everyone has been renamed we will be using characters from the pool wherever possible but occasionally we'll probably see a couple of random characters popping up as well so if you are interested in having a name used I will be providing details of how you can go about that once we get into the game proper but for now as always I feel that it's best to show a game rather than describe it so we're going to just be jumping in now there are a couple of things that we're going to be doing first off i am not new to the xcom franchise or xcom 2 in fact um i have playlists for both xcom 1 enemies within and xcom 2 however i have not played any of its dlc since xcom 2 came out that being said as much as the tutorial offers a really good um, foundation for the narrative, I think we well, it's very heavily on rails, and I don't think we lose that much by just jumping into the game. So we're going to have the tutorial disabled. The game does go to some efforts to still um, weave the narrative quite well, even if you haven't played through the specific tutorial mission. We're also going to be returning down, or, or off in some cases, the voiceovers for beginner tutorials. I don't need them, I am familiar with the game. We are going to be playing on Commander, a significant challenge for experienced XCOM 2 players only. We are not, however, going to be playing on Legend, because as I've mentioned, I haven't played any of the new DLC, and War of the Chosen adds a lot of stuff, both quality of life, um, changes and whole new features new classes new enemies so because i am more interested in creating a fun narrative for for you the viewer we'll be playing on commander where i can be a little i can cut loose a little bit more and take some more risks without the almost certain death of several of my soldiers as a result legend i think i would have to play a little bit over cautious and it might make the game drag on a bit there are advanced options though as well well, uh, speaking of making the game a little bit longer, you can have Beta Strike, which greatly increases HP of most units for longer tactile engagements. This one actually does interest me, but for the sake of this Let's Play series, we're going to be going with more or less a vanilla experience. Now, in Iron Man, I am a huge fan of Iron Man. As most people are aware, I play games like XCOM so that losses do matter. They're not just nameless, faceless units that I can just churn out of a factory and hurl at the enemy. These people will, in many cases, be characters that I've developed over multiple engagements. They, they've got very specific skill sets that, if I lost, would hurt the war effort in a significant way. And there's also, you know, attachment that you get towards these characters. So we will be playing with Iron Man enabled. Uh, the Lost and Abandoned introduces new gameplay features and story elements for War of the Chosen, fair enough. And integrated downloadable content. Now, this one's an interesting one. This one will effectively weave the Alien Hunters and Shen's Last Gift DLC into the story in such a way that it makes more sense um, rather than having uh, effectively three main quest lines that all kind of seem divorced from each other and aren't really it, referencing the other things that are going on as a result from what I understand this option will make sure that everything still makes sense to the story which is actually pretty pretty cool so we're gonna be going ahead and jumping into the game and finding out what has changed accessing the feed now Seems this hasn't changed too much. We're in. But I don't know for how long. You seeing this? I am indeed. Way too much security, even for Advent. That's no ordinary gene therapy clinic. They were telling the truth. Or they're leading us into a trap. A really obvious trap. We'd need an army to march in there right now. I've got a better idea. Outright. Oh, I'm all ears. This is central. Go. Okay, this is brand new. Oh. 
really glowing eyes. Those were glowing eyes. The, the, the bars of the grill were illuminated by the glowing eyes. Do you learn how to stealth? Oh my lord. Timeline you placed upon us. Mistakes are bound to happen. It wasn't our fault. Please. There's no need for any of this. I will do what you ask of me. I just need additional time. Did you say something? No, I don't think he's gonna be saying anything else ever again. You're one of those. Must understand, I had no choice. Outrider, I don't report. think they care. Okay, they care a little bit. Oh, you're lucky. So, you do exist. Outrider to Avenger, I have visual confirmation. Are you sure? Reapers are always sure. I'll take your word for it. I like your Cover confidence. Your tracks and get the hell out of there. They can't know we were here. Yet. Understood. Now the real war begins. Okay, I just got I, I got actually got chills, eh? Hey, he started to stand up on my arms. That was actually pretty cool. Excitement continues to build as city centers across the globe prepare for the 20th anniversary of Unification Day. Thousands line up at the site of the Great Accord, celebrating the formation of the Advent Coalition. Keeping with their promise to humanity, 12 new gene therapy clinics will be opening in select cities by the end of the new year. Despite the attempted attack by fringe elements, operations at the new facility in Paris thankfully remain unaffected. In response to the unprovoked intrusion on the eve of our most beloved celebration, the speaker reaches out to us. A small number of dissidents again repeat the mistakes of the old world. Striking as we celebrate the benevolent savior who time and again offers only friendship and compassion. Yet these trivial actions could never break the bond between humanity and the elders. Could you sound any more evil when you said the elders? Forces have already made several preemptive arrests of known collaborators. Advent again assures all citizens that today's celebrations will continue as planned. Perfect. The Advent Administration reminds you to record all suspicious activity to your nearest Approaching position. You were right. They've definitely got their hands full today. Stay focused. Prep gate crasher. 60 seconds. I'm sorry, but someone with their hands up to their ear and just kind of talking to themselves definitely checks out as suspicious to me. Super suspicious. Signal received. Loud and clear. Okay, Gatecrasher. Your turn. Center to strike a big target. Ooh. Something that will shake up the tranquil little utopia Advent has been building on. I approve. Years. Secure the designated coordinates and neutralize all hostile contacts. Firebrand will be in the area for your extraction. 
Radio. Operation Gate Crashers. Briefing. Sabotage Advent Monument. Objective. Neutralize all enemy forces and then plant X4 on the monument. Or you can do it in any order, I imagine. Uh, location. Advent Priority Zone. Cape Town. Very well. Now, everyone on here is one of the uh, named crew that we already have. <laughs> I can already recognize a few of you. Uh, we are going to be going in... This is going to be effectively off the rails mission. The tutorial is on the rails, very uh, narrative heavy. This is just going to be a regular mission, but with four um, characters instead of two, I believe. And there's a reasonable chance that someone's going to die here. In the tutorial mission, it, someone does die, I'm fairly certain, but it's, it's scripted. You can't avoid it. Here, everything is down to how we play. So it's going to be a bit of an interesting one because traditionally, the early missions are the, the most dangerous. Before you've gotten uh, decent equipment and training, that's when people tend to die. So let's uh, just hope that this doesn't Venice go terribly. Five. We have a fix on the target. Move right here. Place the X4 charges at the designated position. When you come looking flat. Okay, so we are concealed to begin with. Now, we have no uh, turn time, so we can take our time with moving around here. Uh, concealed means that the enemy aren't aware that we're even here, so they're not uh, on high guard. means that if we take a shot at someone from concealed, we've got a good chance of uh, succeeding with it. Um, or rather, there's a, there's a much higher chance of it, it going well. Um, however, the first overtly aggressive or even noisy action we do will reveal us and it will reveal the whole squad so it's not concealed per person Boy, it's just that they don't know that we're here and that they need to be on guard and watching out for being killed because civilians down there these tiles here if we move through them or in some cases do anything in them then it'll reveal us these are civilians they'll basically um let the authorities know that there's armed individuals running around the city they don't quite understand that we're doing it for them yet we will bring them around don't worry uh, now, uh, for those who aren't familiar with the XCOM reboot, these guys make up the bulk of the Advent forces we've dealt with. They're Very well. disciplined and well equipped, but their obedience makes them predictable. Right here. Now, uh, when you are when you're moving around, there's no time units as there were in the original XCOMs. In this one, it's basically you've got two movement phases. You can move within the blue area and then do an action. You can move within the yellow area. That's effectively two movement actions. So you've got two actions you can take per turn with some exceptions and abilities change it, that sort of thing. But generally speaking, you can just move twice or move and do a thing or just do a thing, etc., etc. Uh, right now, we're trying to take cover up here. Down there, I'm a little bit afraid if we go down because we're not going to not gonna really know who's around yet. But um, I guess go down there and then I'm we'll uh, decide what we're going to do next. Oh, you're not going to use the pipe. You're just going to jump down. Because you've got super strong legs, Leafin. Super strong legs. Or, or maybe just the, the density of your bones is exceptional. Because really that should have broken both of them. Uh, right, what else can we do? This thing's like going through skylights. There's no skylight up. Oh, no, there we are. You can just jump down them, but it's going to smash the skylight and it'll reveal you. All sorts of things like that. We don't want to do any of those yet. We want to get into a position where we can attack the enemy. Now... This does provide half cover, even though it's okay. just a railing. It does actually give us some amount of cover. Now, generally speaking, if you attack from on high, it's better. You get a bit of a better uh, attack. Now, who can see that one? We'd have an 85 from here. Not sure that we really want to go for that attack just yet, though. Leafin, what else can you see? If I, if I poke your head around there, will you find any nasties who want to take it off, for example? Or will it generally just be a nice place to be? Let's find out. There we go. Anything else? There is some vision up there. They've got a long sight range. Okay, we're going to go into Overwatch. Overwatch from, from Stealth acts slightly different from Overwatch normally. Normally, if you go into Overwatch, if the enemy do anything in your field of vision, you take a shot at them. Uh, or rather, if they move in your field of vision. However, Overwatch from Stealth will only trigger if you've been found out. If you're still stealthed, you're not going to do anything to ruin that. But if they, on their turn they do manage to um, reveal you, then you take your shot. And sometimes that is a better option than just taking a shot from stealth, because in some cases it means the enemy are in an exposed position. 
So we're just going to go into Overwatch. It's very unlikely we're going to be revealed, but... Ooh, okay, they're moving. Now then, this may be an interesting one. They are very close to Leaf in here. And easily within our range to attack. Now, Leaf in. You're not visible there. But if I were to move you to the side, for example, over here... Mm, no, I, I don't know. That's super sketchy. Basically, I could put Leafen into an almost certain death position in exchange for a po potential uh, wipe of this entire pod. If I put all three of you into Overwatch, then had Leafen do something to cause them to scatter, perhaps throw a grenade at them. We might kill a couple with a grenade. And any leftovers, you could take out. You, you've got a very good chance to hit, but Overwatch shots do have an, uh, an innate uh, malice to the accuracy. Uh, Leafin, I think I'm about to get you killed. But damn it, we've got to risk it for a biscuit, Leafin. You'll die a hero. Uh, just in lots and lots of tiny pieces. Uh, is there anywhere from which I could throw a grenade? That is within range. None. Oh, wait, no. Oh, no, that's not right. Right. Maybe over here, though? I could run down there and possibly grenade them from this point. Yeah, okay. Leaf in, let's get down there. They shouldn't be able to see you right now. And you've not revealed anyone else. Okay, that's good. Let's go into Overwatch again. Now, in War of the Chosen, there are various um, quality of life enhancements. One of them is that we can waypoint how we want to move around. So we can take a very specific path within the amount of movement that we've got, which is something that was conspicuously missing from uh, the previous XCOMs, and it often mattered quite a lot. There, there was a lot of shenanigans as a result of not moving in the right way. Uh, additionally... There are ability points. Now, I'm not quite sure how these work. I just know that they exist and that they're very, very important to have. Right, we don't want to throw that yet. We want to make sure that everyone is in Overwatch. So go ahead in Overwatch because the moment we throw a grenade, it's going to bring the whole team out of, of stealth. And at that point, their Overwatches will matter. Will this blow up the whole bridge? Because I hope it won't because we kind of need to use it. There we go. Go for it, leave in. Pop. Now they should scatter rather than be in cover because they are immediately going to respond. There we are, we're revealed. They're going to try and get somewhere safe. And when they do, we should take shots. And pop. Come on, the other two. And come on. Pop. One last one. Oh no! Severe! Severe! Why? That was a perfect execution, and you ruined it. Now they get a turn. Uh, poor old Leafin. Poor Leafin. Oh, no, no. They're like, I don't know what to do. My friend just died. We got a load of good things that happened there, but I was too busy preparing to rip Leafin to have noticed. Also, he has no cover because his cover blew up. I guess it didn't work terribly, but it also didn't work amazingly, I'll be honest. Uh, okay, Sevilla, you've got a, got a chance to redeem yourself. Go for it. Got all kinds of bonuses here. You missed again! Sevilla, worst shot ever. <laughs> We're having to waste so many turns here. Uh, okay, go for it again. Um, we've got height advantage. The weapon range is plus two. The aim is 65, so that gives us 87. And because they're currently flanked, they've got no cover whatsoever, we've got a good chance of doing a critical. So come on then, Minya. Show Sevilla how it's done. There we go. I hope you're taking notes, Sevilla. The scallywag. Could have gone Leafin killed. Killed! Now then. Leafin. The sad thing about what we just did is we took away all of the glorious cover that was there. And that is sad. It's a bad day. Because this is going to disappear in two turns. We really want to pick it up because it could be something awesome. But we can only really afford to if Leafin's not going to get immediately murderized. Um, well. Let's see what's there. Move up here because okay. we can always move back again if we uncover a pod. Nothing yet. 
On the next turn, we can have someone move forward and then pull back. Overwatch there, it's, it's a really risky thing to do, considering. But we haven't activated another pod, so... Leaf in, what have we got? Go pick it up. We have got... A repeater. Okay, brilliant. Well done. All right, that's our objective. You're near the target position. Now, the issue here is that we are no longer in any way concealed. And that is a big problem. I kind of don't want Leaf in there at all anymore. Hello, Tilly. Why did you just jump on my desk? <laughs> Scared the bejeebus out of me. Ah, oh, I thought I was being attacked by Advent in real life. They worked out where the commander lived. That's it. Rip XCOM. It's all over. Uh, right. Um... Yeah, we're going to have to advance forward. I kind of want to approach this from multiple directions, ideally. So let's get... Matisse, let's get you down there. And Leafin, let's get you back to some sort of cover. That will have to do. There we go. Now then. Minya, I generally like having someone in Overwatch still. So I'm going to take you down... Sure, you can get all the Understood. way down there. I'm being a little bit aggressive here. I'm a, I'm moving forward when I don't really need to, or as far as I need to. And finally, Sevilla. Now, I could put you into Overwatch automatically. Uh, that is right now. However, generally, I find it's best not to immediately go into Overwatch Order until you've moved everyone, because anything could reveal an enemy. And if you've already told someone to be in Overwatch, then you can't now tell them to... Um, directly attack someone. So now I've moved everyone. Overwatch is the last thing we do. Tilly is exploring behind my monitors. I'm I'm not sure. I'm not sure if my my monitors have have been uh, have been built for cats. Tilly, please please don't break them. Uh, let's see. We could push forward. It would be a bold move, but also kind of a stupid one. That no, oh, that isn't full cover, unfortunately. Okay, well, let's see if we can't get round here, shall we? Moving out. That's severe. No matter what I do for you, Severe, it's going to involve running. But I would rather keep you closer to the rest of the group so that they could potentially intervene should you be spotted and attacked. Um, all right, Matisse. Let's get you up there. Okay, Same with Leafin. At this point, I'm going to put you in a place where you can take an Overwatch because if the enemy walk in, uh, walk upon you, and spot you, they'll generally be out of cover at the time. So if you get an opportunity to Overwatch strike them, you might just take them. Out. And that will save your life because you have no cover. Okay. That could be anything. That could be the enemies moving. Could be civilians moving. Could be pigeons. I don't actually think it's ever going to be pigeons, but you know, maybe. Let's Mi move up. Verso le coordinate. Okay, we haven't revealed anyone yet. This might though. And it hasn't. Marvelous. Okay. So we're still, for all intents and purposes, in a good position. Uh, Kind of like you to get down here in one go and be ready to move up. Right, everyone else is going to watch. Minya's not going to move forward yet. Overwatch. Okay, they are very close. Are they going to move into sight, though, is the question. No, it doesn't look like it. All right, Minya, your turn to uh, follow up. Let's get stag you out of, out of the way so that uh, if they do come upon you, you're not all clustered together and a grenade isn't just going to wipe you all out like it did to them. I think we're going to go through another round of Overwatch. I know I'm being uh, cautious here and I do apologize for that. Uh, I Yeah, you've got three bullets. You can go for it. Severe, you've shot twice, so please reload. You're not in a good place to uh, Overwatch anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, oh, you can you can Overwatch anyway. Hmm. Oh, of course, yes, because we haven't moved. Covered. That was silly Why? of me. Did you hear something? That was very silly of me. Always reload if you have the chance. If you're standing still anyway, reload then Overwatch. We'll remember that for future. 
In fact, reload please. Uh, I really would prefer you to have a full it's weapon before time. we actually get involved in a fight. This is something I was terrible Coming. at the last time I uh, played. And I'm trying to learn from my previous mistake. Yes, please. Okay, one more turn, and then we attack. I do indeed. Now, they don't seem particularly interested in approaching, so it looks like we might need to be the ones to say hello. But I did notice the minion gets some pretty good cover over there. Leafin, you can charge straight forward. The direction of the sound was coming from, I don't think they're in this direction. No. The advent officers seem more capable than the grunts. Okay. We're not sure whether to chalk it up to training or stricter mind control. Now they're going to scatter and take up cover. Now who's in a position to shoot? Got a 45 on you, 46 on the officer, which is nice. Uh, you could get some high cover by going around here. You'd be in a position to take a shot. Now, what I'm worried about is them advancing in such a way that they get a flank on us. That would be absolutely terrifying. Now, that doesn't look like that's actually providing cover. It's probably some sort of hollow wall that we can shoot through. Now, Leaf in, you are exposed on that side, which is not at all good. as I believe that they would be able to run that far and get into a position to shoot you. Uh, okay, well, 45, 46, you know, it's almost good. You might be able to run this way, but I don't think you could run over here way. to get into a position to attack Minya. And from this position, Minya might be able to shoot someone. Actually, Minya can shoot all, all the people from behind pretty good cover too. Can you grenade that officer? Because I would be totally okay with you just grenading him. Uh, we'll do three to four damage uh, straight up. No requirement to take a shot, which might miss. That uh, might be worth it. Uh, Sevilla, if I bring you up here, then you are easily flanked. And I really do mean easily flanked, so let's not do that. Instead, what I'd really like to do is get you over here, actually. Uh, okay. Didn't really properly plan out the cover that was up there and that's my bad uh, 47 okay I the officer is the one that I'm the most worried about so I'm gonna try and open up with a grenade this we is for you. have effectively infinite grenades and ammo just not in the mission we bring one grenade with us or two depending on the class um, but when you go back you get it rearmed that's fine even if it's a special grenade of some sort now if we get maximum damage here We'll be able to take him out. Come on, Leafin. Well done, Leafin. And you've unlocked Squatty. Excellent work. We've got a 45 on you. Now, I believe the enemy are going to be trying to move forward here. So, rather than advance out there, I'm going to go into Overwatch and hope that one of them tries to get closer and you get a much better shot. Because they won't have any cover to speak of. Bad luck. Didn't quite work the way we wanted. It was a good attempt, though. He's just moved into cover. Who are you taking a shot at? Taking a counter shot. Ooh, three damage. That is really bad. You've got one health. This next attack could end you. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. Matisse, it's too, it, it, it's too early for you to die, dude. Too early. All right. Unfortunately, both Leafin and... Minya have used up their grenades now. Leafin, I can move you. Uh, you've got cover on that side, so no, you can't get an easy flank. But I can move you up here. You've got full cover from this position. Do it. Now, you've still not got uh, an amazing shot, but you have got uh, better defense. Go for it. Excellent work, Leafin. Another one down. Minya. Once again, not a brilliant position, but you've got amazing cover from your current location. Ah, see, the thing is, if I move you down here, you might be able to grenade position that cover confirmed. away. Just hopping the grenade up off the, over the wall. Can we make this happen? We can. If we do this, if it's highlighted red like that, it means it's going to be destroyed. We're 
we might kill him outright. And if not, we're going to destroy the cover, which is going to let the others take a shot. Brilliant work. Absolutely brilliant work. Okay, who needs this uh, level up? You are... I think you've got a level. You've got a level. So, it really doesn't matter. Matisse, since they took a shot at you, you could grenade him for a guarantee. So, I'm going to keep that in reserve. Uh, Minya, how about I just have you pop out and take a shot? Shall we? Uh, it seems that you can't take a shot from there, though, which is odd. Uh, so I'm just going to move you over here. Roger We've got the grena grenade in uh, reserve, just in case we need to guarantee kill. Go for it. Grenades always do damage. At least I think so. Target the idea of dodging grenades Area seems silly. We're not picking up any inbound contacts. Fantastic. Are clear. Menace one five. We have a limited window to act before Advent responds. We need to get those charges planted on the double. Will do. Get in there. I'm not going to have you run up to that point because it's on fire right next to it. And the last thing I want to happen is for you to die to okay. burns after we killed all the enemies. That would just make me cry. Plant the X4, please. Minute Very nicely five. done, Minya. Yeah? Okay. Are we going to be able to do this without further... Confirmed. Squad is clear. Oh, phew. Okay. So sometimes when they want you to, to extract and get to a rendezvous point, they'll start sending in reinforcement waves of enemies. But there we are. We killed all of the enemies. One of our soldiers was wounded. We completed. Fantastic. Took us 12 turns. And we can take a mission photo. This is a new thing that's been added in. Okay, so we can basically make propaganda pictures, which I think is amazing. Got various locations. Um, can we get a location that's right next to the podium? Yeah, that's kind of a decent one. Let's see. Oh, edit soldiers. I can actually... What? This is amazing. <laughs> Have you turned your back? Sexy pose. Uh, Scarlet. It's... No, I think that's pretty good. You're all doing the same thing, though. Uh, thumbs up. No. Let's go for something. Yeah, that's that's actually quite nice. Um, or we can move them around as well. I feel that Leafin should really be the one in, in front here. I feel Leafin did the best. That that initial attack. Leafin took a lot of risks there, I, I feel. And yeah, I'm not going to do this every time, but this is the first time I've ever been able to play around with propaganda posters. This is amazing. I like it. Intense with rifle. That you can't use properly. Good with grenades, though. Okay, that is that is a pretty awesome photo right there. It took me a little while to get it. And also I decided, nah, I don't want to let the enemy enemy icons be in our, our resistance photo. There we go. Leafin taking center stage for his heroic actions there. I approve. I'm going to have to work out how to change the text though. Because we need something far more inspiring than join the fight. No, 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 no. We need something better than that. Okay, go. And now... While our other team are busy defeating Advent and blowing up monuments, this is what was happening elsewhere. Advent forces are swarming to the blast point. We need to move on the package before they figure out what we're up to. Double time. They're holding position. We're gonna have to go through them. Stay out of sight until we're ready to strike. Copy that. They may have the numbers, but we've got surprise on our side. Hopefully that's enough. Remind me to thank the old man. You and me both. I appreciate the bravery, but you're dangerously close right now. Be careful. Take risks like that. 
Watch your flanks. So that's how you want to play it. Okay. Ooh. She's calling reinforcements. Stop that. Transmission. I get a sense that Bradford really enjoyed doing Central, that. Central, reporting in. You're late. What have you been doing down there? Taking in the sights. What the hell are these things? They're us. At least there used to be. Human hybrid soldiers. Advent's reward for obedience and service. We've all heard rumors. I just never believed it was true. No one wanted to. But we find what we're looking for today. I promise you that's gonna change. Let's move. just hit the ground they're getting nervous now I know we're in the right place Damn it. well done fall back to our position just go I'll try to stall them here Let's go. Hope we to secure the package. Let's hope our intel was good. This is the place. Are you sure? This looks a little ugly. Firebrand, this is Gatecrasher. We need an immediate evac. Get us out of here. Need to tell me twice. We're coming home. I don't know, you might be leaking on the way there. Might need to wrap you up in something first.
decades of atrophy to contend with. Wish we had more time. I don't disagree. But as it stands now, we risk losing the patient if we don't begin the removal procedure immediately. We are ready. Good. Then let's get on with it. Remarkable. Just like 20 years ago. We were still calling it a war back then. The cerebral cortex. Good. Prepping for cranial intrusion. I've managed to identify the connection. Preparing to make final incision. These readings are getting really erratic. Of course they are. These implants were never designed to be removed. We are risking severe. No plan B here, people. Do it. I agree. Let's talk more. Uh, no, I disagree. I dis. I. I. I don't agree. Take it away. No. Ah. normal vital stabilizing procedure complete told them it would take more than that to keep you down welcome back commander glad to see you're finally coming out of it don't envy the headache you must have though still can't fault Dr. Tigan. Especially as no one's even attempted something like this before. Easy. We're still not entirely sure what they did to you. That chip was buried halfway into your skull. Lost a lot of good soldiers looking for you over the years. Almost gave up hope you were still out there. Acted on the intel as soon as I got word. Not sure what you remember, but... Uh... A lot's changed. Did the best I could, but the last 20 years have been tough without you. You feel like catching up. Shen has the archive up and running on your terminal. Otherwise, I'd go see Dr. Tigan when you're ready. There's some things you should know. He'll be better at explaining them than me. It's damn good to have you back, Commander. Commander to the research labs. I'll go there, but I'm fairly certain I can hear Firebrand returning with some other soldiers. I'm going to go and see what went on with them first. Be right back. Advent officials revealed today's maneuver by local peacekeepers was a planned exercise. Oh, poppycock. not be alarmed. That's All the shit. weapon fire and wounds were simulated to better train advent forces. Hmm. Super realistic simulation. The sort of simulation that the uh, simulated dead don't ever undead from. Okay, well there we go. We Successful shot percentage, 80%. Average damage per tick. Uh, ooh. Wow, made, made the most attacks and did the most damage. Very nicely done. Average cover bonus, 25%. That's not terrible. Uh, most under fire was Matisse. Oh. Oh, Matisse. Uh, what was the last one? Moved furthest. Leafin. Using those strong legs of his. Well done, Leafin. Now the fun bit. We get to upgrade our soldiers, or rather take their levels. I'm certainly impressed. Oh, hobbling. Another Gravely wounded 13 days. Defeat. Oh, that's bad. That's super bad. <laughs> he collapsed. He, he managed to get back on under his own steam, but then collapsed. Poor... Poor Matisse. Now the problem with Gravely Wounded is that I think permanently affects their will. That, that's actually a really nasty thing. But let's find out about all of this stuff. There's all kinds of uh, bonds available. That's a, a completely new mechanic as well. But let's uh, check on Minya. Three kills. Well done. Minya. 
Just like it sounds, our sharpshooters engage enemy targets with pinpoint accuracy from extreme range. They're also trained in pistol marksmanship for the occasional close encounter. Fantastic. I approve. Okay. Scarlet Minya Sylvanas is now a sharpshooter. New ability, squad sight. You can target enemies within squad mate sight, provided there is a line of sight to the target. Now, there's certain things... That what we're looking at here is the basic way that uh, people would level up throughout the XCOM franchise. However, there are other things as well. For example, these ability points. Uh, we need to build a training center to use them, but it allows us to, uh, from what I understand, pick up other skills as well that aren't always uh, wouldn't usually be available to uh, a soldier of a certain uh, class. Combat intelligence above average. Combat intelligence affects the rate of ability point gains. Ooh, marvelous! Well done, you. Soldier Bond Unbound. Uh, we'll check that out shortly. 46 will of 53. Basically, previously you could just keep sending the same crew on every single mission. In fact, in the previous games, the previous iterations of them, that was the best thing to do because those people would gain massive levels very quickly, becoming integral to your, your fight. They'd be your A team. However, what happens now is every mission someone goes on, they will get a little bit more sap. They get a little bit tired from fighting. And eventually, they'll get so tired from it, they'll be a pretty poor soldier, no matter how good they are with their overall skills and their aim and things like that. So it's very important to give people a rest. That's going to allow us to cycle our soldiers a little bit more and give us a reason to have a B and a C and even a Z team. Operating some of our most advanced equipment, specialists deploy robotic drones on the battlefield that Fantastic. can be outfitted for combat or field medic duty. Excellent work. Okay, aid protocol. Command your gremlin to move to a friendly target. It grants that target a uh, bonus defense un until the start of the next turn. Excellent. Uh, you've got standard intelligence. That's not something to be uh, to be saddened by. But your will is it's quite low at the moment. It's 11 points down. I'm not sure if that if the game has changed the way that Gravely Wounded works. Um, I might be misremembering that also because, you know, the, the long war and so many different mods, it's hard to remember sometimes what was in the base game. But uh, I am worried about Gravely Wounded. Also, 13 days out of, out of action. That's painful. This the Ranger on. serves as our primary reconnaissance unit. Capable That's why you couldn't aim. In concealment while engaging enemies at close range. Sophia likes to chop people up, not shoot them. It all makes sense now. I forgive you for your for the earlier issues there. I wasn't using you effectively. I apologize, Sophia. Slash. Attack the enemy within a movement range with your sword. Combat intelligence is standard. Your will has only gone down by six points. Not too bad. And finally, leaf in. Serving as our demolitions experts, the Grenadiers provide heavy ordnance delivery whenever and wherever we need you did it. use your grenade quite well in this mission. That doesn't surprise me too much. Okay, new ability. Launch grenade. The Grenadier uses a grenade launch to fire grenades rather than throwing them. This allows for greater range and grenade capacity. Okay, um, above average as well. That's great. Everyone seems to be smart or at average now the unbound thing this is completely new to me i don't know how it's going to work let's uh let's find out commander each of our soldiers has a unique relationship with their squad mates okay. as they complete combat missions together their compatibility will grow and can eventually develop into a lasting bond Okay, uh, all of our soldiers develop relationships over time, but some will grow faster than others. Sending compatible soldiers on missions together will allow their friendship to develop into strong bonds with tactical benefits. Okay, uh, alright, so Minya has a fairly high cohesion with Matisse here. Compatibility is high, very low for Leafin and Sevilla though. Uh, so I guess, sure, I don't think there's any reason not to, though from what I understand you can only ever have one bond. And it's a two-way thing. So by uh, having uh, Minya form a bond with Matisse, that is, um, Matisse automatically forms the bond with Minya and that's it. They can't have a bond with anyone else from what I understand. Okay, and Matisse um... Oh, maybe I am wrong about that. Let's just go back a little bit. So, Minya. Oh, you can't form a bond with anyone right now. Ah, right, okay. Uh, right, I see. So, 
It has to be extreme. The cohesion bar has to be full by going on missions together. Well, you know what? Since uh, I know for a fact that Levin and Sevilla often buddy up whenever they're playing Seven Days to Die, I think I'm going to make them bonded. I, it seems to, to make sense to me. Here's your, here's your bond. Our Grenadier and our Ranger. Uh, okay, teamwork. Grant an additional action point to a bond mate. Has a single charge shared between... Bo oh, wow, that is useful. So once per mission, a pair of bond mates can give one of them a charge to use so they can do three actions in a turn instead of two. That can literally save lives. That is fantastic. Uh, create a custom poster for each of you in this bond. Command, Hell yes. The media is a powerful tool. Just ask Advent's propaganda machine. I say it's time we turn it against them. By spreading the word of our soldiers' exploits in combat, we can bolster morale throughout the resistance. Oh, I like it. Okay, there we go. I'm going to have way too much fun making these posters. I'm almost certainly going to cut out the majority of me making them because they <laughs> I spend too much time doing it. But uh, I'll probably leave in one or two here and there just so you can see what you can do. But that's fantastic. I like this one. Leaving in severe Earth Stalwart Defenders. There we go. The first bond. This is marvelous. Previous, previous. Uh, that one can be deleted because it was a test. There we go. I like it. We're going to favorite that one. Marvelous. Absolutely marvelous. Uh, hide poster? No. Don't be silly. Uh, right. Is there anyone else who can form a bond? I don't think so. Your cohesion isn't quite high enough. But there we go. How great for a first mission. We got a repeater. A 5% chance to instantly kill your target when you hit them, regardless of the target's remaining HP. These are so useful. Uh, Advent Trooper Corps, five of them, and one Officer Corps as well. Commander, to the research labs. Okay, I better meet the crew, I suppose. Impressive, isn't it? Capable of generating immense power, yet completely harmless to human life. If only the same could be said for the rest of the alien's technology. Commander, Dr. Richard Tigan, Chief Science Officer. I am responsible for the entirety of our research here, as well as the procedure you so recently underwent. Welcome to my lab, such as it is. I'm not sure what Central may have told you, but we found something while removing you from the alien stasis suit. A device implanted directly in your occipital lobe. Had I access to the equipment available to me during my tenure at Advent, I would already know the precise nature of its function. However, given time and your approval, of course, Commander, I assure you, I will find out. Which brings to light an additional point. Though aspects of this facility are indeed impressive, I am but one man. Were you to direct additional support personnel and resources to me, I could substantially improve the speed of all our research. Very Fair well. well, Commander. Consider it done. You shall have all of the scientists you need as soon as I can find them. Right, new research. Uh, modular weapons. The magnetic rifles used by advanced forces are incredibly complex weapons. The rifles themselves self-destruct when their original operator dies, but with a little effort we might be able to use any recovered parts to improve our soldiers' own weapons. Hybrid materials. We'd need two advent corps. It takes three days as well. Alien biotech. Having successfully conducted the traumatic procedure required to remove the chip implanted by advent, we now have an opportunity to study the, study the inner workings of the device to gain a better understanding of their motivations. And experimental weapons. Now, this is brand new to me. We've recovered a number of weapons from the field that are deceptively archaic in design, but conceal uniquely powerful attributes that will require extensive study to understand. I believe that this is added in one of the other DLCs, the Alien Hunter DLC, I think. But for now, we're going to start off by I researching find that area of research to be weapons. among the more intriguing options available. We'll begin work immediately. I'll send word when a complete report is available. Okay. Right. Well, that's all we need to do there. Although I had realistic expectations as to the limited resources and facilities available to me on board the Avenger, I have to say, it's taken some getting used to. Even with the ship's dampening field, frequent turbulence and the occasional evasive maneuver make it difficult to conduct experiments of any notable sensitivity. 
I may have to adapt my research techniques to maintain efficiency under these conditions. Fair enough. Uh, keep me abreast of the situation, but now we're off to engineering. Commander to engineering. I know, I'm already going. Okay. Reworked your repulsors with some of the parts I salvaged from their old engine. Should fix that stabilization problem you had. Come on, Rover. It'll work. Come oh. on. Getting our tech to talk to theirs is harder than you'd think. Lily Shen, Chief Engineer, at your service. You are probably expecting to see my father. It was the first time. And all that's yeah. happened, I'm guessing Central didn't tell you yet. He's gone. Dad gave everything he had to get us this far. This entire ship is his life's work. I know he would have loved to show you around the place himself. He used to talk about you a lot. You can be sure I'm ready to finish what he started. Might not look it, but from here, I can fabricate pretty much anything you come up with. And with a little more help, well, you'd be amazed with what I can do. It was an honor to finally meet you, Commander. The pleasure was all mine. Okay, uh, I don't believe there's actually anything for us to build You'd right now, how but... how big of a difference some of these things can make in combat, Commander. Actually, a med kit would With be amazing. With a few supplies, I can manufacture anything we need in no time. Mm. A med kit and a flashbang would be truly amazing. But I'm going to hold off on doing them, because they're instant builds, so I... Uh, before we go on a mission, I, I can do it. The flashbangs are especially useful because of certain enemies that can use psionic abilities. A flashbang can stun them out of it and make your job a lot easier. And also the medkit, so people don't die, for obvious reasons. That's good. Uh, Facilities-wise, we'll look into that in time. But let's check on our inventory. Yeah, it's just all of these things. That's fine. Okay. I'm digging through some of the old data files Central has been holding onto since before the war. I keep running across notes scrawled in English and what looks like broken German. I should probably ask him about it. But with that, I think that's a good place for us to wrap up the first episode. We have been on our first mission and also got someone really, really badly hurt, actually. That, yeah, these things happen. Uh, we can go to the... Uh, oh, my Lord, we've actually got... We've got heads. We've got heads of people in the... Uh, that is That is fantastic. I I like it a lot actually uh we can have a look at our photos here as well this is glorious and we can also check on our soldiers let's see who we've got here uh we've got one unnamed person we'll end up with a couple here and there but i will do my best to uh continue to rename people as we go but that is gonna be it from me for now i hope you've enjoyed and are looking forward to the continuation of this series do let me know if you have any thoughts or comments down below and in fact if you would like to see your name and in fact if you'd like to see your own name showing up in a future episode then all i need from you is a first name and a last name do not include the nickname the nickname will be your username if however your username on youtube is your real name then that's fine you can you can let me know a nickname as well but uh for the most part i am going to be using people's usernames so i actually remember who they are because you'd be surprised how easy it is to get confused when you're dealing with bunches of names that don't relate to any any user on YouTube whatsoever really confusing but that's gonna be it from me so once again I hope you enjoyed and I hope you're looking forward to the next but until then do take care everyone